In just four days, America will usher in a new president, and the country is more divided than it has been in years, many say. As we're celebrating the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. today, we ask what can be done to bridge the divide. So let's ask someone who is the perfect guest for this segment, Fox News contributor Alveda King. She is the niece of Dr. Martin Luther King and the director of African American Outreach for Priests for Life. Good morning to you, Ms. King. Great to have you here. Good morning. Good morning. I'm glad to join you. I also have a new book. I need to put that in, oh, America good. Return to God. I want everybody to know that. I America love that. to God.com. But good morning to you and good, good morning, morning to you. all our Why friends. did you title it yeah. that? Well, it's time to pray. And I think that will let you know exactly what I believe we need to be doing right now rather than all of the controversy we can pray and join the incoming president our new president mr donald trump who is inviting leaders across america and all of the people to join in making our nation better so if we can pray and do what uncle ml martin luther king jr said learn to live together as brothers and i add as sisters or perish as fools we can do this. We can do it together. I then know. what do you think about Congressman Lewis? He is from Atlanta, where you live, and where your uncle uh, you know, was preaching and grew up and lived as well. I've been to his house there, and it's such a special place. So what do you, what do you make of what Congressman Lewis is doing, saying, I'm not going to go to the inauguration, saying that this president is not a legitimate president, and many other people are following suit and are not going to go to the inauguration as well? Well, I actually admire Congressman Lewis's legendary legacy of civil rights and working with my uncle, ML, in the civil rights movement of the 20th century. And so I believe he should stay on that track, nonviolent conflict resolution. I believe that Congressman Lewis can actually help America by working with the president. So that nonviolent conflict resolution, one blood of the Bible, Jesus Christ encouraging us to be brothers and sisters and not adversarial. Congressman Lewis should be one of the best teachers of that. Now, I was born in Atlanta uh, on January 22nd in 1951. I'm 66 well, years old. Well, happy birthday almost. And, um, Atlanta actually does need help. So I really agree with the president. Let's fix Atlanta. Let's fix America. Uh, Mr. Trump, I voted for him. I understood what he meant when he says, let's roll up our sleeves together, and we can do that. So I want to remind Congressman Lewis of that powerful legacy, and it has to be not adversarial, but to, to communicate nonviolently. And if anybody in America is fearful and tearful, pray together. Let's just pray. That's what my uncle would do today, my granddaddy, Daddy King, my daddy, A.D., and that's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Um, what does today mean for you and for your family and for our country? Well, today is very important for America. This is our opportunity, another window of opportunity, so that black people and white people and Gentiles and Jews, no matter what our skin color is, not colorblind. Jacob uh, had a coat of many colors for Joseph, and so we're supposed to be many colors. We can see that, but it should heal us and not divide us. I know if my uncle were here today, he'd be cheering America on, praying with America. I'll be with Bernice later on tonight, Dr. Bernice King, the CEO of the King Center where I'm on the board, and we're going to seriously talk about racial issues, but we're brothers and sisters. We're not separate races. Dr. Alveda King, thank you so much for being with us. Great to see you this morning. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Coming up next, incoming White House.